Dad and Brennan are in a vicious race to weigh 155 pounds. He's using his new... Katie, did you make the track team? Good too much. Okay, it's another day in which we excel. Here we are, it's Wednesday, so today's teacher help day. And it's a big day because uh, Ryan goes in early to get uh, extra help for teachers. So he's taking algebra, which is really tough, and he's taking a lot of tough classes. So it's great for him to go in and have some one-on-one -on -one attention from his teachers. So we're doing that this morning. So uh, one of the kind of the bonuses and one of the things that we say try to say to him is that, uh, you know, if you take something you don't really want to do and place it with something that you do want to do, like get a fresh bagel in the morning, and that makes things a little bit better. So um, uh, I think he's done that. We always stop at the bagel store and he picks up a, hey, what do you get? Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Why not? Uh huh. Uh huh. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, enjoy. It's a, it's a great bagel. Totally. So we're off and running uh, this morning. Hope uh -huh. you're having a great day. Yeah. Same. It's going to be a great day. This is going to be a great Another day. Another day in which to excel, right? So I'm going to make it a great day. This is the beginning of a great day, though, a bagel. That's a great attitude. Yep. All right, there goes Ryan, just walked around the corner. He is off and running on another day of Escuela in America. Good morning, everybody. I am on my way home from my eye doctor appointment, and I have really good news. <laughs> Actually, this is an interesting story. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and a bag of popcorn, here we go. So when I was, right before I got pregnant with Brennan, I had always worn glasses and contact lenses. So right before I got pregnant with Brennan, I had laser eye surgery. I'm at a red light right now. I had laser eye surgery and corrected my vision to 2020. It was amazing. It was so great, so great. About th four years later, three years later, I guess, I was pregnant with Katie. And I have always had allergies and the allergies that have like, they affect my eyes, like allergies to like um, outdoor things like pollen and that kind of thing. So anyway, I was pregnant with Katie after I'd had my surgery and I got like pollen or something, something got in my eye while we were out on the boat that really like was stinging. So I was itching my eye and itching and itching and I itched my eye so hard and dug in so much for like, a prolonged period of time, probably an hour is how much, it, how long it took us to get from back to the boat to home. And, um, and then I put like a tea bag on it and ice cubes. It was terrible. Well, I noticed after that, the next few days, the next few weeks, the next few months, that my vision in that eye started to get really bad. Like I, I had 20, 20 from the laser surgery and then, uh, it got really bad and I couldn't really see very well out of that eye. I mean, I could see, but distances were terrible. So anyway, I went to the doctor and um, I, that was, okay, so Katie is now 15, so she, I was pregnant with her, so it's 15 years ago. It has taken 15 years until just today to get my vision back to 2020, like correcting it. So I would wear like one contact lens, because this eye has been perfect, 2020 forever, because of the surgery. This eye was really bad and I have astigmatism now, which is this crazy thing, which means that your eye is misshapen. So anyway, now, um, so I would wear one contact lens and nothing over here. And when I wear glasses, there's not even a prescription over here. It's just this. And then my eyes, like being able to read close up, started to um, get worse. So now I have progressive lenses, which means that I can, I use this one up top to see far and these two on the bottom to read. So I've had a crazy eye situation for a long, long time. Anyway, so I just went to the doctor just now and she, I, I'm seeing 2020 now, which is awesome. Even with astigmatism, she was able to, well, my body has changed and she was able to get it into 2020. So I am so excited about that. And she also said I don't wear my contact lens anymore because I don't know if you've ever heard of this before, but okay, since my right eye, I can see close and my left eye, I can see far. So they correct each other. So I really don't need to even wear glasses sometimes. I can just, except for when I'm driving, I have to because I have a restriction on my license. But I, this is all very confusing, but it's very exciting for me. So now, like, so since I have one eye as close and one eye as far, I can see without contact lenses or without glasses because they correct each other. Does that make sense? So actually, oh, terrible situation that I've had for the past 15 years with not being able to correct my vision. 
side note, when I would go to the doctor during those 15 years when I had my stigmatism, my stigmatism would move during the day. So in the morning, my prescription would be different than in the afternoon, which would be different from in the evening. So I would have to go back and like average out the prescription so we could put, get the right glasses. Anyway, it was a mess. But today is a fantastic day because now finally I'm able to correct to 2020 and she told me I don't have to wear my contact lens anymore. So now I can either wear these glasses or nothing or prescription sunglasses and be good to go. Yes, so that's the deal. So I am um, on my way home now from my appointment. And while I was away, the plumber was putting in a new sink faucet and a new faucet downstairs in Brennan's bathroom. So now the sink faucet is stainless steel, so it's going to match the rest of the kitchen. One by one, removing everything over. I will show you the painting I did yesterday, and I'll also show you the new hooks. Actually, they're not even new hooks. I took my old hooks, where we're hanging all of our bags and coats and everything, spray painted them silver, saving money, taking names. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I'll see you when I get home, and we'll get to see the new faucet. I'm so excited. What you guys may or may not know is that Dad and Brennan are in a vicious race to weigh 155 pounds. Dad started at what? 175, Dad? 172. 3. I mean, Mike. 172. Ah! All right, bye. Ah! <laughs> 175. Brennan started. What'd you start the race at, Brennan? Like 143, I think. 143. So Brennan's trying to gain weight. Dad's trying to lose weight. So they're both really putting the heat on. Right now, as you know, Brennan is working out three times a day. You heard, if you watched yesterday's vlog, he's working out three times a day, several days a week, and eating more food than you can imagine. Trying to build muscle, go, gain weight, all that stuff. Dad, on the other hand, has decided to take into fasting. So he has, today's Wednesday, he hasn't eaten since Sunday. This is his first meal. Pretty good, huh? Delightful. That's cheating. Why? Just stopping eating? If you can eat a lot, he can stop, right? Exactly. So what number, where are you now? Do you know B? No. Where are you, Dad? Mike? Uh, 164. Whoa, you've lost 11 pounds? Yes. Nice. I've only gained like a few. <laughs> it's hard. We were just saying it's easier to gain or to lose weight than it is to gain weight, I think. Maybe the working out three days a week isn't helping. <laughs> you should lay around and eat. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what you should do. do you might do that. I feel like it would make me like fat. It will. I don't know what's more important to you, being fit or beating dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do both. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're trying to feed him as much as we can. Comment below who you're rooting for. Yeah, who are you rooting for? Dad or Brennan? Hey, guys, we got our new faucet. Look at it, our new sink faucet. It's stainless steel. So it matches, it's going with my whole theme of now doing stainless, except for this, wah, wah, this, wah, wah, and that, wah, wah. I wish those were stainless. Our kitchen is really old, like all the appliances in it. It's under dishwasher. Wow. Mr. Guy over there. Yeah, we're updating it though, that's what I'm saying. We are updating it. We got these appliances when we moved, every, well, no, no, just the stove and the uh, microwave have been there since we moved in 20 years, you guys. What a shout out to Frigidaire mm -hmm. and Kenmore. Those are the two brands. Holy cremoli. This guy we've replaced, but I love our new dishwasher. And that guy we've replaced with the same brand again, Kenmore. Stop it! So what do you Look want? at our faucet! Do you like Why it? Why don't you get one of the ones you can touch? Well, I was going to do that, but then I thought uh, it can break easily. So here, practice it, Mom. practice it. Those things used to break easily in the olden days when it was like new technology, but now it's like, I don't think they do. Oh, that's a lot. Kate, Kate, what are you doing? You just push it down once. Dude, Kate, Kate, stop it. It's not, oh, there it is. Oh. Crazy. So it's hot. Top is hot and bottom is cold. Top is hot and bottom is so hot. It's how do you, what's top? Oh, top bottom? is cold, sorry. And then there. Get it? See? And then right, will you put it hot? Watch this. Ready? Yeah, I know. It goes a little spray. <gasps> is it not gonna spray me? Look at that. It's not spraying sideways. It starts sideways. circle and goes, it doesn't spray sideways, right? And it goes into a straight thing. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm trying Isn't to watch my hands. Isn't that Nito Spinito? You what? I'm trying to watch my hands. All right. Ryan is using his new Money range finder. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. We got this for Christmas. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go to the range and use it a little bit. But uh, anything. Or would you like to be shocked? I'd like to know how far did that boat cross? Yeah. Yeah. How much 
123 yards. 123 yards? 123.7. Wow, that's very cool. Wow. I like that. Uh, okay. Katie, what range would you like to be found? Uh, the closest bird. Closest <laughs> bird. Um, I would say a net tree of the left, probably. That tree? Mm-hmm. Maybe like 15 yards. Oh, oh. too close. Can I put this in my quesadilla? Yes. Wait, I don't want that. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> 11.8 yards. Mom, <laughs> give me some. Oh, I do some far. Mom, mom, but, but, mom, yes, we mom, do. Yes, mom, yes, mom, yes. Mom, How about the blue belt? Mom. What? Do we have rice left? Yes, we do. It's in the black um, little thing there. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. 317 yards. Ryan, that is you awesome. Know, you know if, Phil Mickelson once hit a uh, 3 310? Really? Crazy. All right, buddy, if you're going to go golfing, you got to go soon. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go. So Kitty, I can eat that with my quesadilla, right? Yeah, you can eat that whole thing. The chicken, right? Just, put, just heat that up and make it a quesadilla. <laughs> Katie, did you make the track team? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did she make the track team? This. I love her so much. It's so, so funny. It's so funny. Honestly, comical. I swear. Oh my gosh. Totally kidding. Yes. yes. Do they give you a piece of paper? Uh uh. Like last time? They just read your name out? No. What'd they do? Well, sure just didn't give you a paper. Oh. So wait, wait. What does that mean? If you get a paper, you didn't make it? No, if you get a paper, it tells you whether you made it or you didn't. And he just didn't give you one? He said, see you tomorrow and gave me knocks. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Thank you. All right, do you have Not gonna lie, I kind of wanted a paper, but it's fine. Yes. Tell him you want a paper. Tell Did you, you say want... mommy wanted a paper? No, tell him you wanted a paper. Oh. Well, oh that's do we have the is. healthy ones? The ones we ate last night? Uh -huh. There's one left. Where is it? Oh, no, I think Brendan ate it in a cheese quesadilla. These are so unhealthy. No, they're not. They're super soft flour tortillas, mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eat them. And they're white. Yum. <laughs> Make them brownies, bye. That means they're unhealthy. Guess what it is? Golf time. Opening day. Opening day. 2020 season. That's the golf season for me. I mean, they've already played the Honda Classic and everything, but... It's opening we didn't qualify me. for the classic. You're hoping to qualify for the tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Something you know, right. it's it's step by step. You know, right. If you if you know. Um. Anyway. But first is high school golf. Go yeah. Golf, <laughs> uh, all the pros are playing the Florida Swing right now. Which, uh, if you don't know Florida Swing, it's they play four tournaments straight in a week, four weeks in a row, four tournaments in Florida. Starts with the Honda Classic, then the Vals Bar, and then the Players Championship, and then actually I think the Vals Val. Yeah, Ballast Bar is the last one. I don't know what's the okay. name. Anyway, um, so it's opening day for me though. I'm golfing in March, which in Maryland is huge. And it's 59 just, degrees. It's 59 degrees. Which yeah, that is nice. Um, that is nice. But I'm just going to the ranch a little bit. Just to, and, you know. But you, what you should do, Ryan, do out. some stretching and stuff before you start uh, hitting because you haven't hit in a while. <laughs> to go, boom, you're going to hurt those back muscles. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. 90. <laughs> I know, but still. <laughs> that's true. You play a lot. Yeah. You just played tag recently, so I think that's, that you got it going. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, very good. So, what are you going to do? Just a bucket of balls? Yeah. Use your new range finder? Use your new swing thing? What's that thing, Brennan? It's called like a cross driver. I don't know, but it, you attach all your driver in it. It's really cool. Okay. All right, very good. Excellent. Well, enjoy yourself. And it sends you stuff on your phone. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Oh, it sends you stuff on your phone? Oh, is that what the app was for? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh huh. I love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is what made me happy today. Mom just uh, yelled at me for not doing what made me happy today. So, what made me happy today was. Nothing made me happy. Today. Oh yeah. Oh, Katie's switching her laundry over after seven times asking her to switch her laundry over. Dad, you didn't Made me happy today. Not. Kate, what made you happy today? Dad. Kate. That's so rude. What made you happy? Quickly. Um. Well. Um. Okay. So you can't film me when I look like this because I'm about to walk. Go. Um. Um. Hanging out with 
Joe and Jess. Joe and Jess. Came to see us. What made you have today? Hello! Oh, my dinner. Oh, it was a good, oh, it might work out. But I had a really, really good dinner. We had chicken piccata. You wanna go see it? It was good. Chicken piccata, this is what's left. Chicken piccata, and look at, we had rice, pilaf, and we had jockey. It was very good. And, oh, 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 oh! My new sink, oh. my new faucet, I should say, and the faucet downstairs. Wow. And um, that's finished being painted. Wow. So I had a good day today. That's a lot. Thanks. Is that too much? Grace, she needs all of you. Thanks, she needs all of you too. Hey! <laughs> what made you happy today? <laughs> oh, um, it was a great day uh, having a bagel this morning. Are you getting, lined up? Getting out to the range. Yeah, just, just get away. Uh, go to the range and then. Uh, seeing the homies, having dinner with the homies. Seeing the homies? Yeah. What made you happy today? Uh, seeing my boy Joe. Awesome. Joe. Love it. <laughs> All right, comment below what made you happy today, Ed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.